afternoon, everyone. My name is Sabrin Davis Cannon, and I am a junior majoring in respiratory therapy. I am a proud member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated Theta Chapter and the president of the National Panhellenic Council. I want to welcome and thank you all for joining us on this historic day on the campus of The Ohio State University. The National Panhellenic Council at Ohio State University is home to all the divine on organizations. Our chapters and organizations have accomplished remarkable things within our campus and Columbus community, and we are glad to play a role in this momentous time. When I think of the state of the council, I believe it is constantly progressing and evolving. We want to propel this council into being one of the most formidable councils in all of the country, and I believe we are doing that today by celebrating the beginning of the MPHC Plaza. The council is thrilled about this project, grateful for the university's support, and appreciative that they saw this mission as essential to create the NPHC Plaza. We know that this space will be a place that will allow us to showcase not only our chapters, but also sh showcase the potential that NPHC has on this campus. This is a space where students can come to feel included and welcomed, and in addition to the Hale Center, so to speak. We are continuing what Dr. Frank Hale Jr. and many others paved the way for. Again, I want to thank everyone for joining us during this historic time, and I hope you all enjoy what's next to come. Greetings, my name is Rayana Booth, and I'm a proud member of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, the exquisite Xi Gamma chapter here at THE Ohio State University. I am the past immediate vice president of the National Panhellenic Council here at THE Ohio State University. I have had the pleasure of leading the NPHC Plaza project for the council. The National Panhellenic Council here at Ohio State has fought many adversities over the years of having visibility and comfortability. In the university's strategic plan titled, Time and Change, Enable, Empower, and Inspire, it states that the institution is dedicated to understanding that diversity and inclusion are essential components of our excellence. Statements within the university's strategic plan are written commitments by the institution, and we felt having a space such as this met that standard of being inclusive. According to the institutional archives, the council has been advocating for a space and sense of belonging on campus dated back to the 1970s, when members at the time spoke out regarding not having adequate space to convene and engage the community in their initiatives. The MPHC Plaza will feature all nine organizations within our community to honor the nine charters established here at The Ohio State University. The purpose of the MPHC Plaza is to serve as a space for current members, alumni, and prospective members while raising awareness to the entire campus community about the legacy of our council and chapters. The MPHC Plaza will recognize the contribution and impact our council has had on the campus and Columbus community. At many large, predominantly white institutions like Ohio State, it can be difficult for black students to find a sense of community. However, it is up to the black students to find that place they can call home. And the MPHC Plaza will be just that and help push the focus on building an inclusive community that is racially and socially just for all people. Ultimately, the MPHC Plaza will increase the visibility and exposure of our community to faculty and staff, potential new members, and incoming students. It will establish a sense of belonging and pride for our individual members, provide our council with a designated space to host various programming, special events, and specific initiatives. Lastly, it will serve as a co-educational resource to the entire campus community regarding our history, heritage, and culture. Overall, the MPHC Plaza will give us the privilege to exhibit our visibility, provide a safe space, a comfort zone, and a sense of belonging. I will leave with this quote, black students help build the community for other black students. Harris, 1998. Enable, empower, inspire. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Larry Williamson, Jr., and I am the director of the Frank W. Hale, Jr. Black Cultural Center within the Office of Diversity and Inclusion. You know, history serves as a foundation for culture. You preserve the relevant and discard the unimportant. Ohio State has a rich history. It has strong traditions and landmarks, buildings and historic sites, sites such as Orton Hall, Hayes Hall, the Ohio Stadium, the first Horseshoe Stadium in existence, and of course, Hale Hall, the first student union in the entire country at a public university and building named in honor of a historic African-American legend, Dr. Frank W. Hale, Jr. 
On the north side of the building, to the east and west of Hare Hall, lays historic landmarks marking the passage of the Underground Railroad, where slavery turned into bravery and produced the rich soil for the foundation of the Divine Nine. Alphas, Kappas, Omegas, Deltas, Sigma, Zetas, and Iotas, to name a few. For decades, these sororities and fraternities searched high and low on campus to become more robust and to become more ingrained in the fabric and great traditions of Ohio State beyond their outstanding services. With a masterful theme in mind, enable, empower, inspire, the National Panhandling Council walked hand in hand as a collective with our top administrators to secure the most promised space that they could find on this vast campus. Greatly inspired by the spirits of the ancestral legacy, they searched vividly and intensely only to have their fate predetermined. Like the North Star guides us, the NPAC Plaza will be on the north side of Air Hall where legends are established and continued. <laughs> Where else could it be? We thank the National Panhandling Council as we are now more enabled, more empowered, and more inspired. Let us lift every voice and sing their praises. Greetings to my Ohio State family. I am Kimberly Allen Davis, the president of the Ohio State University Black Alumni Society. And this news has me super excited about our future and current alumni. I'm also a member of Delta Sigma Theta, Sorority Incorporated, Epsilon Chapter, founded in 1919 at this university. As black students at The Ohio State University, we have a history of going after the big ask. These student leaders put together a proposal that could not be turned down. Through the efforts of the National Panhellenic Council at The Ohio State University, led by Rayana Booth, Devin Stith, and Sabrin Davis Cannon, the Ohio State University will invest in what will be known as the NPHC Plaza. This awesome new space will be available for current and future students, as well as alumni, to share in the historical black experience. This is an opportunity not only for black students, but all students to gather visibly and learn the vast history of these black Greek organizations and the impact they have, uh, that they have had on the community, our campus, and the world. Often we don't understand because there is no opportunity to learn. What this ask has shown me is that if anything is going to change, be expanded, improved upon, updated, created, or addressed, we must first ask. NPHC is made of nine organizations. Ohio State is the home of single letter chapters for four of the nine Greek letter organizations. What does that really mean? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. All four of these organizations are 100 or more years old. And in 2026, an additional organization will be turning 100. That is absolutely awesome. Somebody had to ask. If they didn't, we wouldn't be here. The Ohio State University has risen to the challenge and is addressing the lack of visibility and space for black students who share more than 100 years of the 150 years of this great institution. I say to all of the alumni of this university, stand proud. How firm is thy friendship is not something that is taken lightly. It truly means something. I ask that alumni across the world come back to the campus and remember and reconnect. How can you not want to be a part of the his history that continues to be made through our great alma mater? Seneca Crump, I thank you for your leadership and I thank sorority and fraternity life and everyone involved that has made this a reality. We have a space on this campus where we can celebrate who we are and where we come from, visibly for all to see and interact. Isn't that a great opportunity? When Sherman Hamlin Gus graduated in 1892 as the first black man from this institution, he could have never imagined that this type of ask would ever come to life. Well, it has, and we are inspired. Congratulations to the National Panhellenic Council at The Ohio State University for your great work, and I can't wait for the grand opening. Ohio State alumni, we will see you here in the NPHC Plaza as soon as we enable, empower, and inspire. Thank you.
Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Seneca Crump, and I have the pleasure of serving as the advisor to the National Panhellenic Council here at The Ohio State University. A core focus of our work in sorority and fraternity life is to ensure our students within the community have a greater sense of belonging throughout their student and fraternal experience. As I reflect on the meaning and value that the National Panhellenic Council Plaza will bring to our community, I am hopeful that it will serve as a space they will call home, a space where they feel their voices are heard, a space where they can gain a sense of pride, and most importantly, a space that allows their presence to have a greater impact on our campus community. I am also very hopeful that it will serve as a starting point to having more representation for our black, indigenous, and people of color community here at our institution. The National Panhellenic Council here at The Ohio State University has a long, rich history on our campus and Columbus community. Today, our National Panhellenic Council community is continuing that legacy and rich history through their educational, social, and civic initiatives. In addition, they are mobilizing and serving as activists, advocates, and change agents within the black student community here at Ohio State. The student leaders within the council who advocated and put in the work with this project truly enable, empower, and inspire me as their advisor. Their resilience in actively growing their community inside and out and advocating for representation is impeccable. And I know a commemorative space such as this will allow the legacy of their community to continue to excel. I'm very honored to serve as the council advisor during this momentous period of time in our institution's history. And I'm even more honored to be a part of the legacy that was started by many alumni of this community throughout past years. I would personally like to thank President Johnson, Dr. Melissa Shivers, and the Office of Student Life, the groundbreaking ceremony planning committee, and the sorority and fraternity life team for supporting our students and myself during the development of this project. In addition, I would like to extend a special thanks to all of our campus and community partners, and especially our alumni who have been trailblazers in helping us reach this milestone in our history. Now, as I close, the National Panhellenic Council at The Ohio State University always remember to enable, empower, and inspire. Go Buckeyes. Today is a monumental day in the lives of the students breaking ground here and all of the members they represent. On behalf of the many alumni who have paved the way for this plaza, for the founders of our nine historically black Greek letter organizations and for generations of Buckeyes to come. Today, we will ceremonially dig into the ground, signifying the beginning of a process that will create standing monuments, not just for years, but for decades into the future. This plaza will be a symbol of welcome, hope, and pride, and demonstrates Ohio State's continued commitment to not just creating environments, but to building spaces where all are welcomed and celebrated. As a first-generation college student and a black woman, I personally know the tremendous power that comes from having people and places you can recognize yourself in on your campus, and the lifelong value of sister and brotherhood that we experience through our participation in one of the Divine Nine chapters. When the students brought this idea to me, I was a little surprised that we didn't already have a standing monument to NPHC on Ohio State's campus. And then I learned that this had been a long-term vision, so all we needed to do was turn it into reality. I could not be more proud of the students and the alumni who enabled this idea, empowered their peers to advance it, and inspired us all along the way. And so I remind us, today is a monumental day with an extraordinary purpose. And I thank you for your support now and always. Good afternoon. I am delighted to take part in this historic moment. 
Today's groundbreaking of the National Panhellenic Council Plaza commemorates the incredible contributions of our historically Black Greek organizations, both past and present. It is wonderful that the plaza will be located right outside of Hale Hall, named for Dr. Frank Hale, who fought to increase opportunities for underrepresented students. I thank our alumni and students who sparked this concept for solidifying the legacy of the Panhellenic Council. I also thank today's Panhellenic students for forging ahead to ensure this idea became a reality. And I thank Dr. Melissa Shivers and her team for their support of our Greek Life students in this event. Our Black Greek organizations have a rich legacy at our university. All nine organizations belonging to the Council, the Divine Nine, are chartered at Ohio State. We also have the distinction of having four single-letter groups on our campus. Now from this day forward, the history and legacy of our Black Greek organizations will be commemorated as part of the physical landscape of The Ohio State University. I know that a more diverse and inclusive university is a richer, more complex, and more innovative university. As president, I am committed to advancing diversity and inclusion, not just in words, but in action. There is much work to be done, and it will take all of us working together with stubborn determination and strength of purpose to build a more firm foundation of inclusiveness for the next generation. And someday soon, when the plaza is complete, we can all gather here in person. And we will, in the words of Youth Poet Laureate Amanda Gorman, lift our gazes not to what stands between us, but what stands before us. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for this historic occasion. Today, we honor the legacy of past, present, and future members of the National Panhellenic Council here at The Ohio State University. To our guests joining us today, and to all of our member organizations, Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated Kappa Chapter, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated Theta Chapter, Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated Zeta Chapter, Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated Iota Psi Chapter, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated Epsilon Chapter, Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated Delta Omicron Chapter, Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated Xi Gamma Chapter, Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated Delta Phi Chapter, and Iota Phi Theta Fraternity Incorporated Beta Mu Chapter. Let it be known that on this historic and momentous day, the afternoon of Tuesday, April the 27th, 2021, ground will be broken here at this site for what we will call the future home of the National Panhellenic Council Plaza at The Ohio State University. My fellow council members, let us now join together and let us now officially break ground on what we will call home. What a joyous day it is here at The Ohio State University. Today we commemorate this space and this space will now be the home of the National Panhellenic Council Plaza at The Ohio State University. Thank you again for joining us for this momentous occasion. And now we will turn it back over to our team to display a virtual rendering of what our home will look like. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Devin Stith and I'm a member of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated Zeta Chapter. As the Vice President of the National Panhellenic Council here at The Ohio State University, I would like to thank you all for joining us today for this momentous occasion. This project is something that will not only honor the historic legacy of our organizations here, but also set the stage for a new era of growth, visibility, and prosperity for our council and student life at Ohio State as a whole. I would also like to thank President Johnson, Senior Vice President Dr. Melissa Shivers, and the Office of Student Life 
as well as our campus and community partners for their endless support and enthusiasm for this project. It is truly an honor to be able to say that after over a hundred years of making history on this campus, my fellow council members and I have been able to be a part of creating a space that our organizations can truly call our own. Although we have been lucky enough to have had this project come to life in our time here, none of it would be possible without those that were here before us representing our organizations and creating the history that we stand on today. With that being said, there will be opportunities for you or anyone else to support us in bringing this project to life. We'll be releasing more information soon so that you may have the opportunity to join us in our mission to enable, empower, and inspire our MPHC and Ohio State community. I would once again like to thank everyone and encourage you all to stay with us as we continue to impact time and change on this historic journey. Go Buckeyes!